Hello and welcome to Euphoria. This week we've learned that British Prime Minister David Cameron has no intention of giving up his fight against Jean-Claude Juncker. In other news, the World Cup kicks off in Brazil and Finland has a new Prime Minister. The FIFA World Cup was off to an exciting start this week, despite initial doubts that Brazil would be ready in time. The tournament will provide a welcome distraction from the never-ending political negotiations in the EU, especially for new Socialist and Democrats President Martin Schulz. After all, as German Chancellor Angela Merkel, the Queen of Europe, pointed out on Twitter, apart from countries scoring points off each other, a president nobody likes, and Germany winning, the World Cup is nothing like the EU. Speaking of political scheming, David Cameron's anti-Juncker campaign continued this week. The British Prime Minister vowed on Wednesday to fight until the bitter end to oppose the European People's Party leading candidate for the position of EU Commission President. Jean-Claude Juncker, for his part, appears to be making every effort to maintain a good relationship with the press. Mr Juncker, are you certain you'll be Commission President? I don't give interviews now. Meanwhile, member states are in the process of deciding who to send to Brussels to form the next commission. Finland has chosen its former prime minister, Jyrki Katainen, to replace outgoing Finnish commissioner Ole Rehn, who in turn will join the European Parliament as an MEP. And former MEP Alexander Stubb will become the new prime minister in Finland. Politicians appear to be in limited supply up north. Before we go, let's get to know Finland's new leader a bit better. <laughs> Looks like someone's going to be the life at the party at the next summit. For links to this week's content and more euphoria, check out our website at urinetplus-connect.eu. That's all for this week. See you next time.